Toastmasters, my guess is you think of speaking. Is that a fair, is that a fair assumption? Yes. You, go, you join Toastmasters and you get speaking opportunities, which is absolutely fabulous, and it's one of the tremendous things that Toastmasters offers. What I'm going to tell you about today are certainly other opportunities that Toastmasters will give you. But certainly, first of all, we're going to walk through what is probably the, the, the normal, what someone thinks about when they join Toastmasters. I'm going to learn how to communicate. And certainly Toastmasters offers multiple series and steps in, in terms of speaking, in terms of improving your speaking skills. What many of you might be working on is what are going to be called the Competent Communicator Manual. What you're going to do is you're going to prepare and give 10 speeches that are going to give you the basic building blocks hand gestures, voice modulation, using the speaking area, eye communication, humor, uh, so on and so forth, being passionate in your speech. Again, it provides all of the, all of the core things that you would otherwise need. All of the core things that you would otherwise need to prepare, again, the building blocks of an effective speech. When you're done with that, you actually get a recognition from Toastmasters. And it's not just to you in, in the form of a certificate. They actually send a letter to your employer or your person of, cho of choice to say, hey, Bruce, uh, Sunil, Cheryl has now become a competent communicator. And it was actually pretty nice when I finished mine, this was over 10 years ago, to have a certificate. It looks fairly official and it just says, hey, Dave's a, Dave's a competent communicator. What you then have is a chance to go beyond that. And I think there are a number of members in this club that have, in fact, started down the track of going beyond just the basic 10 speeches. In order to continue beyond that, you will give 10 speeches for the next level, which is going to be your advanced communicator bonds. These are specialty type speeches. Ones that I'm working on are speeches, speeches by management. Others are working on storytelling, humorous. Um, last week we had one from Arnal who was doing a roast. So they are they are meant to be of your choice and there are 15 different manuals and there's a whole list, a, a list of them. So you, again each one of these manuals has five speeches in each one of them and you would pick two of these manuals you would give the five speeches from each of the two manuals. It gives you a very solid, very, very solid, and it incorporates all the things that you otherwise picked up from your first 10 speeches. It gives you a chance to say, you know, I need to work on interpersonal, interpersonal communication. I'm a manager, I'm a supervisor, I want to learn how to connect with my group a little bit better. Gee, every time I go to a wedding or a bar mitzvah or a, you know, a Chinese New Year celebration, there's always somebody who gets up and wants me to give you know, some topic or some speech. Uh, speaking humorously, I, I couldn't lock my way out of a paper bag. Um, <laughs> it just doesn't work for me. But I, it's, it, again, if there was something that I wanted to develop, what a better way to do it than in an environment of very friendly people who are going to give you immediate feedback, who are going to congratulate you and say, hey, you did a terrible job, but I think you might actually be able to do better next time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, persuasive speaking. Again, there are a number of different topics in here, all of which in each one of these manuals there are five speeches that you're going to be able to give in that particular area that will just help you round out your experience in, you know, again, persuasive speaking, being entertaining, inform informational speaking. You do that and you become what is otherwise called an advanced communicator bronze. So you've achieved your competent communicator award and you have completed two of the series of manuals that include the total of the 10 speeches. Then you go on to what's called Advanced Communicator Silver. And I think we might even have one Advanced Communicator Silver in this club. I don't know if you've made ACS. I'm halfway there. Halfway there. <coughs> Almost. Yeah. So you've achieved your Advanced Communicator Bronze. You've now given a collective 20 speeches. And then you go and you pick two more of the manuals that I listed out on that one page. And you can now up yourself to 30 speeches, but again, you're giving yourself a chance to really focus in on areas where you either have a desire to improve, or it's something that you don't know much about, myself, humorous speaking, where you can actually try five humorous speeches and see, see what works. <clears throat> 
You then also give two presentations out of what's called the Better Speaker Series or the Successful Club Series. Now, Toastmasters has uh, a total of 30, they have three, three series of, of speech topics. Uh, one of which I'm giving today out of the better out of the successful club series. What your club has done, what our club has done, is ordered two of these three sets of manuals. So it's successful club series. There's a particular topic: how do you mentor? How do you assign roles during a meeting? How do you coach? How do you uh, how do you inform your members that in fact they have goals that they can set and they can move forward? Each one of these has a CD that comes with, effectively, the equivalent of the slides that I'm presenting today. You have to tailor your discussion to fit the slides and give your experience and your own feedback. But again, any one of these, again, yeah, there's a presentation on meetings and meeting roles and responsibilities. How do we, why do we even have them? What is it that's being taught through them? Uh, the other one we have for now, is what's called the Leadership Excellence Series. And again, this is quite a bit about coaching, mentoring, taking on a project, how do you do it? What are some of the building blocks of it? And these are, so if you, if you make it through your 30, then you have a chance to go through and do even 10 more. And by this time, you're really, generally, very effective speaker. You have body language down, you have you know, speaking, area down, you have communication, voice modulation. So you've now made it to advanced communicator gold. You, you have finished, for lack of a better term, the speaking part of what Toastmasters offers. What really needs to be brought out, and part of why I wanted to do this today, is they then have an entire leadership track. And quite honestly, this is a very valuable tool that Toastmasters offers its members. And it goes down literally to the, to the base elements of the meeting we're in today. When you're the timer, the general evaluator, the Toastmaster, uh, an evaluator of someone who's given a speech, each one of those in, is, is part of the core leadership portion of what Toastmasters offers. In your competent leadership manual, there are a number of these roles that are listed out. And as you complete them, you get evaluated on how well you did. So I was, you know, for example, if Ed today is a general evaluator, he would give the evaluation of the meeting. And on top of that, there would be someone evaluating in a written format, much like our speeches, how Ed did in terms of how he's a general evaluator. How Robert? Joseph. Joseph. <laughs> did his timer. Grammarian. Uh, again, Toastmaster. How do you run a meeting? These are all, again, core leadership skills. So there are a total of 10 projects, much like in the communication track, there are 10 speeches. Again, you develop, much like on the communication side, you develop the core communication skills. On the leadership side, you develop core leadership skills. How do you keep a meeting to run on time? Um, as a sergeant at arms, I, I learned many, many years ago when I come into a meeting room, the first thing I do is I arrange all the chairs, I take out all the paper and trash from the last meeting, so that when my my group, or whoever it is that's joining my meeting comes in, they immediately see a, a meeting room that's reasonably well organized, someone who's prepared, maybe handouts already laid out. We know that the overhead is working. So the meeting can start on time because there aren't gonna be glitches, hey, we need to clean up from the last, we need to rearrange the chairs. Again, something I picked up 10 years ago as Sergeant at Arms, but just something that kind of stuck with me because I just enjoy walking into a meeting room where it looks like we're ready to meet. Again, you get a recognition it's very similar to the competent communicator. Your employer gets a recognition letter that says, Dave, Joseph, Ed is now proficient in leadership skills. And there's more. Much like in the communication track, there are, is an advanced track in the leadership side. Uh, what is called the advanced leadership bond, which is what I'm sort of in the process of trying to finish up right now. So you're the first to achieve your communicate your competent leadership award and your competent communicator award. So you've done the 10 projects on the leadership side and you've done your ten, first 10 speeches and, and completed your CC. You get to serve six months at least as a club officer. 
where you participate in a club succession plan or club success plan. So we met with Sachin at the beginning of this year, July 1, and said, okay, what do we want? What are the goals we want our club to, to achieve in the next 12 months? And he gets up and gives us updates regularly in terms of, hey, we're already you know four down, six down, eight down, and so on and so forth. These are things that Toastmasters tries to embody into its club so that as a club group, we actually set goals and try to achieve them. Club officer training. So back in August time frame and now even now in January, I know a number of our officers just recently went to training and it's just something where you go and you learn from even better Toastmasters how your club should run, what types of things make club work, name badges, so on and so forth. And present two topics out of the Successful Club series, which again is part of what I'm doing today. So to reach your silver, so competent leader, advanced leader, so bronze, then advanced leader, silver. You have to first have the bronze award, you have to now serve the district officer. Sounds, you have to serve as a club sponsor, mentor, or coach. And you have to compete, complete what is called a high performance leadership project. So you take a project, either you're going to do something with the Toastmasters Club, you're going to do something with your church, your temple, you're going to do something with your children's soccer team, and you actually put together a project plan so that Toastmasters is actually giving you the skills with appropriate coaching, mentoring, and oversight to just say, hey, how would I go out and start and finish a project, set goals, and meet the objectives. Again, within or without Toastmasters. So now we're at the pinnacle, and I, I have a, a, a page in front of you that I handed out that has sort of the, the lining of the two tracks, but really the ultimate for Toastmasters award is the Distinguished Toastmaster, where you achieve both your advanced communicator goal, you've given 40 speeches out of the many different manuals, and you have gone through the leadership track to show that you are actually capable of what they would consider advanced leadership. So I'll leave it with that. You have the diagrams in front of you. I would just recommend, again, while it seems daunting, the time actually passes very quickly. You think, wow, 40 speeches, that's, that's, that's a long time. But the first 10 kind of flow, and then if you just, in a sense, stay active and stay, you know, participate in roles during the readings, I think you will find, as you build on all this, that it actually flows and, and, and it fits together very nicely. Thank you, Madam Postmaster.